Good day viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to differentiate this expression here, E raised to the power X, from the first principle. Okay. Anytime I'm dealing with this type of problem, I always make use of infinite series. Firstly, we need to know that E to the power x is equal to sum as n goes from 0 to infinity x raised to the n over n factor and if you check this very well when n is equal to 0 we have 1 thus when x sorry when n is equal to 1 we have 1 over 1 factorial plus when n is equal to 2 we have, sorry, when, S, when n is equal to 1 again, we have x here, not 1. Then when n is equal to 2, we have x squared over 2 factor. Plus, when n is equal to 3, we have x squared over 3 over 3 factor. Plus, and so on. So, I'm going to use this in this solution today. Now, we all know that dy dx is equal to limit as h is approaching 0 f of x plus h minus f of x all over h okay now let's say our f of x is equal to e raised to x then f of x plus h is equal to e raised to x plus h and this is the same thing as a raised to s times a raised to h. Okay, we now have our dy dx to the limit. As h is approaching 0, f of s plus h is what? a raised to s, a raised to h minus f of x times a raised to h over h. So this is the same as limit. As h is approaching 0, factoring out a raised by x out here, so we have e raised by s, so brackets a raised by h minus 1 over h. Okay, now I'm going to make the use of the infinite series of a to the power h here, like I have given. e raised by h here. Okay, let me say this. This e raised by x here, I'm giving that is equal to this. And this is an infinite sum. So, e raised by h minus 1 here can be represented in the infinite series. So, it's just the same as this. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I will equally subtract 1 from here. And when I have done this, this one, this positive one, and this negative one here gets cancelled out. So what I have now is limit as h is approaching zero. E raised by h to bracket this h over one factor plus h where over two factor plus and so on all over h. So I'm going to cancel h out using this denominator here. So h 1 to here 1 reduces this to h. So I have dy dx equals to limit as h is approaching 0 a raised by s two brackets 1 is left out here. 1 plus h over 2 factor plus and so on close bracket. So you know I have e Raised to the s, open bracket 1 plus as h is approaching 0 here, we have 0 over 2 factor, that is 0 plus I think we'll be getting 0 plus and so on, and this is equal to e raised to the s times 1, and that is equal to e raised to the s. Therefore, the answer to this question is to remove the question mark and put e raised to the s. Thank you for viewing. 
make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel always remember to turn on the notification button so that you will be notified whenever i upload my next video thank you for viewing